The Blue House brothel case ended just last month with a life sentence imposed on owner Sung Ja Cha on human trafficking charges. Cha was found guilty of luring young girls from Chuk to come to Guam with the promise of legitimate jobs, only to be subjected to prostitution at her bar, the Blue House Lounge. But questions have persisted over the alleged involvement of Guam police officers in providing protection to the illegal activities taking place inside the Blue House. Testimony during the trial suggested that an officer named Tony, or Mario, was providing protection, and one officer, David Manila, even testified at trial that he frequented the Blue House and, on at least one occasion, had sex with one of the girls there after buying her a drink. Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio issuing a statement this week calling on the Attorney General to look into the case and saying that if a review of the investigation concludes that a police officer participated in illegal activity, then that officer should be held accountable. Public Safety Committee Chair Senator Adolfo Palacios today echoed the Lieutenant Governor's call. More questions need to be asked. More questions need to be answered. This is the people's perception, so whether they are correct or not. What matters is how the people perceive the Guam Police Department. And that, that continued then to adversely affect the, the, the confidence of the people to the police department and even the credibility. After previously declining to open an investigation, Chief Berdalio late this afternoon issued a statement saying he would now open that investigation. Quote, in light of the looming official request by the lieutenant governor to the attorney general to conduct an independent investigation, based on these facts, Governor Calvo ordered me to disclose what I just told you. In consultation with Lieutenant Governor Tenorio, we have decided to open an investigation into the allegations that officers named Tony and Mario may have been involved, along with any other officers. We will also be reviewing the investigation into the conduct of Officer Manila. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.